Welcome to the world of Area Code 989, located in the Great Lakes state of Michigan. In this brief overview, we will explore various aspects of this region including its geography, demographics, social, and economic characteristics. From bustling cities to serene natural landscapes, Area Code 989 has a unique blend of culture and diversity that makes it a fascinating location to discover. Let an Apos S dive in and learn more about this area. Area Code 989 covers a land area of 14.1 thousand square miles in the state of Michigan, with a population of approximately 977,000 people and a population density of 69 people per square mile. This area code encompasses a large geographic area and has a relatively low population density compared to other areas in Michigan. The first ever area code 989 was established in 2001, split from the original area code 517 to accommodate a constantly growing population in central and northeastern Michigan. Despite being a relatively large area code, covering 16 counties with over 600 cities and communities, Area Code 989 does not have a city with a population exceeding 50,000 people. One of the most iconic landmarks within Area Code 989 is the Bavarian Inn in Frankenmuth, which is known for its traditional German cuisine and annually draws in over 3 million visitors. In Area Code 989, Michigan, the racial composition is diverse with a significant majority of 874,000 people identifying as white or Caucasian. This is followed by 47.3 thousand black or African Americans, 43.8 thousand Hispanic or Latino individuals, and 10.9 thousand Asian residents. This data showcases a mix of different racial and ethnic backgrounds, adding to the cultural and social richness of the area. It also signifies the acceptance and inclusivity of different communities within Area Code 989. Area Code 989 in Michigan has a diverse population with a strong German influence, as indicated by the 26.3% of the area and APOS, S population identifying as of German ancestry. Following closely behind are Irish and English ancestries, making up 10.9% and 10.5% of the population respectively. Polish roots also have a significant presence in the area with 8.9% of the population identifying as such. And while the in quat, American in quat, ancestry category may seem vague, it still accounts for 5.3% of the area and APOS, S population, highlighting the melting pot nature of the community. Area Code 989 in Michigan has an almost equal sex population composition, with 490,000 males and 487,000 females. The male-to-female ratio stands at 100.5 males per 100 females. Interestingly, the most populous age group for both males and females is 60 to 64 years old. This age group accounts for around 4% of the total population for both genders. This indicates a higher percentage of elderly individuals in the area, potentially impacting the overall demographics and community dynamics. In 2016, there were a total of 10,340 births in the state of Area Code 989, Michigan. The majority of births, 79.9%, were to women between the ages of 20 to 34 years, with a rate of 123.8 births per 1,000 women in this age group. Women aged 35 to 50 years accounted for 16.7% of births, with a birth rate of 36.3 per 1,000 women. The youngest age group, 15 to 19 years, had 347 births, making up 3.4% of the total births in the area, with a rate of 50.1 births per 1,000 women. Overall, the fertility rate in Area Code 989 was reported to be 57.7 births per 1,000 women in 2016. Fertility rates in Area Code 989, Michigan vary greatly by age bracket and marital status. In the 15 to 19 years age group, 97.9% of 347 births were to unmarried women, making it the highest rate of non-marital childbearing. 
This is in contrast to the 20 to 34 years age group, where only 46.4% of 8,266 births were to unmarried women, making it the age bracket with the lowest rate of non-marital childbearing. This data highlights the impact of age and marital status on fertility rates in this area. In Area Code 989, Michigan, there is a clear trend of higher rates of non-marital childbearing among individuals with lower levels of education. The data shows that among the less than high school and high school diploma education levels, the majority of births were to unmarried women, with rates of 81.9% and 79.3%, respectively. In contrast, the data reveals that among those with a graduate degree or college, associate and APOS, S degree, the rate of non-marital childbearing is significantly lower at 52% and 53.1%, respectively. This suggests a correlation between education level and marital status, with higher levels of education possibly leading to a lower likelihood of non-marital childbearing. Area Code 989 in Michigan has a relatively low per capita income of $28,821 compared to the state average. However, the median household income of $53,872 and the median family income of $66,453 indicate that the majority of households in this area have a decent standard of living. This suggests a potential division between individual income and household income, possibly reflecting a mix of higher and lower income households in the area. Overall, the income data suggests that while some may struggle financially, the majority of individuals and families in Area Code 989 are able to meet their basic needs. An individual living in Area Code 989, Michigan can expect to earn a median income of $32,023. However, there is a significant disparity in earnings between genders, with males earning a median income of $38,830 while females earn a much lower median income of $25,986. This income gap of 33.1% highlights the ongoing issue of gender inequality in the workforce, with women earning significantly less than their male counterparts in the same area. This disparity in earnings can have a significant impact on individuals and families, and further efforts need to be made to address this issue and promote equal pay for equal work. Poverty is a significant issue in Area Code 989, Michigan, affecting a total of 145,599 residents. This accounts for 15.3% of the population and is a major cause for concern. The data shows that both males and females are affected by poverty, with 13.8% of males and 16.8% of females living in poverty. However, the data also highlights specific age brackets that are most at risk, with 25.3% of 5-year-old males and 30.1% of 18 to 24-year-old females living in poverty. This emphasizes the need for targeted support and resources to address poverty in this area, particularly for vulnerable age groups. In conclusion, the video has provided valuable insight into the complex social, demographic and economic characteristics of Area Code 989 in Michigan. However, if you are interested in diving deeper into the data, we invite you to visit Zip Atlas. It is the ultimate source for Area Code 989 data, as well as comprehensive information on other states, cities, area codes and zip codes in the United States. Come and explore the vast range of information available and gain a better understanding of various areas in the country.